Hello. With me is Dr. Karen Kilby. And we're going to discuss probably the biggest festival in, the biggest religious festival in the year, which is Christmas. Whether one is a Christian or not, whether one is religious or not, Christmas impinges on us. We talk about before Christmas, after Christmas, and all the rest of it. It's the time when we seem to want to hunker down and have a party. But Karen, what does Christmas mean for Christians? Well, um, the first thought that comes to mind when you ask a question, what does Christmas mean for Christians? People will say, well, it's not all about presents and drinking and parties and mince pies. It's about the baby Jesus. It's about the birth of Jesus. And as someone who's had three children, I have been to quite a lot of nativity plays and watched a lot of dwelling on the birth of Jesus and the baby Jesus. So, of course, it is about the birth of Jesus. Um, but you can get an impression that the religious side of the Christian side of Christmas is just all about babies, if you go to enough nativity plays, um, that it's about the beauty of a new baby, a baby being born to us and, and so on. Um, and actually, I think that the sort of most significant meaning of Christmas for Christians has to do with the incarnation, the becoming human of God. So not just the birth at a particular moment, but the whole fact that God takes on a human nature, that God joins us, that God becomes one of us in the incarnation. That's fundamentally what's being celebrated at Christmas. Why is that significant for Christians? Well, part of a Christian understanding of God is that there's that God is um, is utterly transcendent, that God is not part of the world. God creates the whole world. The beginning of Genesis, uh, God speaks and the world is created. God is, is um, other than us. And yet the transcendent other God draws near, joins us, becomes one of us. So this is somehow a absolutely central paradox to Christianity of the the incarnation of the transcendent one, of God who says, my ways are not your ways, nevertheless becoming one of us. So for Christians to interact with God is to interact with Jesus. Yes, so Christi or for Christians to, to know God is to look to Jesus, to, um, to think about Jesus, not just some perfect baby who never cried, not just some perfect human being, but God come to us one of us, God, God whom we can, um, or one who points us to God and in whom we can see God. And if, if the transcendent enters into humanity, that also, of course, has, has an effect on the value we place on humanity and indeed the value we place on, on the whole created order. That's right. So you can imagine it as sort of um, God dropping down into us, but you can say the whole the whole of creation is is shaped and affected by the fact that God becomes incarnate in it. Is it fair to say that for Christians then there is no such thing as, as an unsacred part of the creation because every part of the creation can be raised up to stand with dignity before God? Yes, I think so. So, so that everything is made sacred. There isn't sort of special bits, but the, the whole of humanity, nothing is the same. The, the world is not as it would have been if God had remained distant. Everything is touched by God. Everything is, is valued. So when you talk about the Christmas story, you're really talking about the Christmas story as we find it at the beginning of St. John's Gospel. The, he was with God, but he has come and he has pitched his tent among us. Yes, and so what, what us are, what we are, is now different. Uh, because he's pitched his tent among us. And so for a Christian, as I say, if you're thinking about Christmas, you're not just dwelling on the perfect baby or this, this wonderful story. You do dwell on the story, um, but you're dwelling on what it means to my life, to our life, to the way I see our world, that God has pitched his tent among us and that this somehow in itself is, saves us. Or, is, 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 or leads to our salvation, and somehow transforms everything in the eyes of a Christian believer. 
Because God, having pitched his tent in Jesus, can pitch his tent in us. Yes, and in those we meet, so that there's nobody we meet in whom we cannot see Christ for a Christian believer. Um, and and yes, and, and, and there's, so, so, so that might be one of the things you think about in connection with Christmas, or how is God in my life, coming into my life, can be another way in which Christian belief takes it. Uh, one of the... Uh, one of the medieval theologians, St. Bernard, says that we celebrate at Christmas the three comings of Christ. The first coming is the, 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 the infant, the, the, the memory, the past, uh, the nativity play. Uh, there's another coming, the, the, the coming at the end of time, when Christ will take the whole universe and, with, and present it to his father, the the kingdom of holiness, peace, love, and grace. But the second coming is this intermediate coming, the, the now, yes. when he comes in grace, he comes into individual human hearts, and he transforms individuals into other anointed ones, other Christs. So in a sense, what you're saying is that Christmas is the celebration of this, it's a memory of the past, but it's also a celebration of Christ coming today. Yes, so it's, it's a time when Christians will ask, how is Christ coming into my life? What does it mean? And they'll rejoice in the fact that whether they understand how or not, they can be confident that Christ is in their life. And then, especially during Advent, they look forward to this future coming, I suppose, that you're talking about. So sometimes when I think about some of the hymns you hear in Christmas about um, Jesus meek and mild and the perfect baby who never gave a moment's worry to his parents. I think it'd be much better to think about um, changing nappies and the difficulties of babies. And those two are sanctified by the incarnation. You know, all the difficulties of human life are somehow in Christian faith touched by the incarnation. So Christmas is a celebration that God is with us now. Yes. On that very joyful note, Karen, can I wish you a very happy Christmas. And happy Christmas to you as well. <laughs> <laughs>